Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I'm here in Caddis Island, New Jersey. And I was hanging out, I was doing some hiking, and I bumped into a gentleman here named Curtis, and he's going to give us a tour of his awesome adventure vehicle here today. And uh, as you can see, it's a four-wheel drive, and he's got a really cool custom trailer behind it. Hello, Curtis. Welcome to New Jersey Outdoors. How's it going? All right. Hey, tell us a little bit about your uh, setup in the van. Oh, this is a, uh, a 2001 Ford E350. It has the 7.3 liter uh, Power Stroke turbo diesel engine in it. They say it goes for like a million miles if you take care of it, um, which I'm, I, you know, I, I plan on doing. Uh, it also has a Amsoil uh, bypass filter system in it. I guess it also works much better with this engine. It keeps it lasting longer and whatnot. Um, I mean, I, as we go around, this thing is just, it's, un, it's unbelievable. I found this on eBay. Uh, it has a luminous front bumper, has the winch already lined, you know, wired in and whatnot. Um, as we come walking around here, it has 33 inch tires on it. We, we just replaced the shocks with, with uh, Monroe shocks in there. Um, we went with the 33s because we didn't, you know, it was going to be mostly on the road probably, not too much off-roading, but at the same time we still want the off-road capability, so we did go with, you know, we thought the 33 inch tire was probably going to be the best fit for this. Um, we added these little awesome little screen nets, keeps the bugs out, skeeter beaters. I got these off uh, Sportsmobile, actually, web website. We built the deck up top, which is awesome, a little novelty hanging up top there. I've slept up there, me and my friends have slept up there. I also have a cot tent that we set up, you know, set up up there, kind of like a rooftop tent idea. I got both, we got the Thule kayak racks in the back here so I can be able to carry two kayaks with me just with the van by itself, which is awesome. Um, the four wheel drive was done by Salem Kroger. So I'm the third owner of this van. Back in 2001, the, the gentleman that bought it, brought, bought a brand new straight, straight from Ford from the factory, had it shipped to Salem Kroger right away. They put the four wheel conversion in it and he had it ever since about from 2001 until 2015. And then another gentleman bought it actually then uh, forked the river and that's who I bought it from. He had it for about three years. Uh, he did some things, different things to it too. But um, Salem Kroger, you don't see too many of these anymore. Um, you know, they, they were a four wheel drive company that, that converted the vans. They went out of business, I think about 10 years ago. Um, but there was a very well, very, very, sorry, very well known company that did quality conversions on, the, on these vans. We got the aluminous rear bumper here with the tray. All right, all my hitch setup. There might not be uh, too many people familiar with Illuminus, but uh, I have the same bumper set up in my van over there. And what's great about it, it's made out of uh, aluminum, so it's lightweight and they powder coat it. Very lightweight, yep. Strong as can be. Uh, we have the fuel rims, awesome fuel rims. Nice, nice tough, strong, gives it a nice, tough, rugged look. Um, We unlatched latch two latches and unlatch each side. And again, we have more storage in the bumper here. I have different extension cords and you know, diesel additive and whatnot here. This is the same thing as a front bumper too. It has the same storage in the front. I have some jumper cables and whatnot in there. Um, as we open up the back doors we were able to build this bed in here. So this was originally a 15 passenger extended van. It has the bench seats in it all the way through the back. So we pulled out the, uh, the, the remaining rows and we built this platform bed in here. So we have a futon mattress, um, some memory foam, whatnot. We have all kinds of storage under here. Different stores, there's, there's where like my cot tent is. I have an outdoor carpet rug. I have uh, water weights for the awning. So instead of you have to tie down the awning, I have these jugs where you fill with water and they're just weights, you, you, know, you attach them to the, uh, the, the, uh, the feet of the awning. Do you, do you use your awning a lot? Um, not on the van, I use it on, mostly in my trailer. Um, and these drawers here, all kinds of camping stuff here. There's a rain fly for the cot tent, sleeping pad, first aid kit, uh, extra one pound uh, propane canisters. These are the refillable ones, which are great. And the refill them, uh, you take them to uh, like a well, exporting actually, goods? No, actually, it's this company, um, what was it? Where are they? Right here, Flame King. All right, they sell this kit that comes with one extra canister, and it's a, it's a, a hose and a little adapter that you put to the propane area, and they just refill it. It's awesome. It's great. Works out great. 
we have uh, just for some, some cooking stuff, grilling stuff, cutting boards, all different um, you know, cooking utensils. These are marshmallow skewers. I'll find the stuff in here. Anything you, used to, you, know, you need to cook. Got to be organized. Got to be organized. Limited space. That's it, man. You got to be organized. All kinds of different stuff in here. The, the, the cooking the pots and pans are in here, pot holders and whatnot. <laughs> so behind this, more storage. So you just lift that out. All back here, I have some more uh, camping chairs. This is the a jump starter. God forbid the battery ever dies on me. Um, we have an air compressor there too. If I, if I get a flat tire, if I ever do want to go off or I need to let the tires out in the air, I can actually fill them back up as well. Um, another camping table. There's just a little, little you know, random stuff in there. But we want to be able to fit as much stuff as we can because when we're on the road, we travel a lot. We're driving a lot of hours, so sometimes this is you know much beneficial when we're driving. So you can take, like, <coughs> excuse me, you can take, you can take a, uh, <coughs> take, uh, uh, you can take a nap as we're driving. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. This is a little tool chest we built on the trailer. Now, who makes this uh, trailer? Is this something you made on your own, or this trailer is actually done by a company called WeRoll.com. They have their their website here. It's um this is about three years old. It's a 2016 model. Um, I had it custom made. This is six by nine by six. Most of them come by five by eight by five. But we, we needed some more storage in this thing, so we, we came up with this little storage box in the front. We, we built on, we attached it, bolted it down to the, the, uh, the floor there. So this is something you could just buy like a toolbox at I a bought, home center? Exactly, I bought this at, at, uh, at Lowe's, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff in here. More extension cords, fire pokers, you know, random string, and all kinds of stuff. Tent stakes, gloves. Well, and folks are gonna be curious about the trailer. Um, what, kind of, what is it made out of? So, WeRoll.com is basically a custom manufacturer that, that specializes in lightweight trailers. All right, so this one is kind of like the Illuminous. This is all built all aluminum, so it's very, very lightweight. Originally, when I took a trip three years ago, I had to tow something with a Wrangler. Not too many things can tow stuff with a Wrangler. So, being, being this being aluminum, very lightweight, the Jeep was able to, to handle that situation. So that's why I came up with this, this, uh, this trailer. Part of the package was this, the, uh, the off-road rugged tires. They call this the Overland model. So, you know, this, this is part of the package with these tires here with this trailer. We added the awning on the side up here, the RB awning, the 8x8 one. And uh, we had custom built these brackets because it was too high to sit up top. So we had to custom build these brackets to drop it down a little bit. I have an awning on each side, so it's based on what, how the campground is set up, you know, based on where we want to put the awning. Um, we also have this road shower up top here, maybe roadshower.com. This is a five gallon model. This is one of the first models they came out with. They now have a seven and eight gallon model, which is much bigger for more water, but it's a solar power. Basically, it's pressurized water. You fill it up with a hose. You could add a, uh, a bike pump to get, to get the pressure in there, or you just do one of those female connectors for the hose. You connect it, and that would also add pressure as well as the water. And then the sun just heats it up. It's a great little shower right there. Also has the roof racks. Right now, I have my stand-up paddleboard up there. I've had kayaks up there, different things. Um, but the roof racks are just great great to have any kind of additional storage wherever you want any kind of toys you want to bring with you now this trailer is awesome it has a hitch so you put a little bike rack system in there whatever you want to do bring your bikes your mountain bikes whatever you do um, this is great too because the door flips up this way so now you have a little bit more of an, another awning kind of area here the inside of the trailer is just an empty box basically it's like a, it's a metal tent so we added everything in here we, we built that little shelving system in the front all kinds of stuff here um, we have my TV up there. I'll show you that. So this could be uh, a toy holder. I mean, you could outfit it whatever way you want once you get it. It's just yeah. an empty trailer. Exactly. Empty trailer. You can exactly. You do whatever you want with it. Your imagination. Yeah, so we, we made it like a little trampoline. So originally, we I've had three people, three adults, and a, and a, uh, a full-size, basically, Great Pyrenees dog sleep in this thing at one time. So we had... This is great. This, this, is, this is a disco bed. Um, this is a cot right now that it's a bunk bed cost system so right now it's like a futon like a couch we can hang out here and that's also we, there's a the back comes up attaches up here and makes a bunk bed system and we have this pad on the ground here so someone slept on a slot in the floor there as well underneath con ton of storage we have extra gas water jugs um, these are just seat cushions to keep your butt warm at night 
uh, more camping chairs, another mattress pad, and a little game system. I have a big, uh, big shelter that we, uh, we set up on the camping sites that's, that's stored under there, as well as an air conditioner. So this thing is great because the, the front part there, a little latch system, cut out, that's for an air conditioner, like a uh, house air, a window air conditioner. It's, it's great, it keeps this thing ice box, it's an ice box in here. So this thing, um, does it have its own power system? It does not have its own power system. Okay. No, so no solar, nothing like that. We, it has the electrical uh, surge protector plug, so if I do go to campsites, we do have to try to get electric if we want power. So, you know, it depends how long you want power for. You know, sometimes people can last without power, sometimes you can't, so. Okay. But it gives them a little, little more convenient. This side as well, another another awning. Another, the same old brackets here, stand up powder board. You got the side door. And we come in here. That's where I store the air conditioner for the front wall unit right there. And that just slips right it in. Just and slips right in, yep. Yeah. And this is a little latch. And just comes right out. And you just slip it right into there. It's pretty cool. And plug it in right there and you're and the manufacturer made that specifically for a certain Correct. model. Correct. Yep, for a certain model. Yep. So I, the, I, the, the um, Tom from We Roll told me what what specific air conditioner to get that's going to fit that that cutout. So it worked out great. And then uh, as for ventilation, you got uh, just a, a vent up top. Yep, just a vent up top. No, no fan or nothing. Just a vent. And the two side windows open. Yep. Got an uh, insect screen here. Yeah, and a little inside screen. So you got a little cross breeze as well. Looks like it's got a rubber rubber torsion axle system. Exactly, torsion axle system, exactly. The ground clearance is pretty impressive. I would say approximately 13, 14 inches. Yeah. So you could t you could take this off-road yeah. right on the back of the van. Yeah, definitely. Now I know uh, our viewers here are dying to know you know, price point. What does something like this go for before so, you outfit it? Before I outfit it, just the, just as this shipped up, the metal the metal structure alone um, was fifty eight hundred. I paid for all, right, all aluminum. Came with a roof rack, everything, everything, basically just the outside structure. So fifty eight hundred is what I paid, which I mean I think is pretty fair price for for small trailers in this in this you know category. All aluminum. Now, do they have dealerships throughout the country? There, as far as I know, there's two. Dealership is one in Florida, and I think there's one in Texas. I feel like he said there is. Um, so I actually had to met I, I, the gentleman that I got shipped up from. I met him in West Virginia, so he drove this up to me in a Camaro, <laughs> towed to a, tied to a Camaro, and I picked it up in West Virginia. And that was a long day, I'll tell you that. But we, we picked it up from him, and it's been great ever since. And since then, we Reroll has come up with different models and, and so on and so forth, which which is pretty impressive too. If you go on their website, they have a lot of cool different things going on right there. Now inside this van, you know, when you bought it, from what I understand, it was just a regular passenger van. Correct. Regular passenger van that had the bench seats. Um, so again, when you travel a lot and you spend a lot of time on the road, you want it to be comfortable, right? So we wanted much, much space that we, we could use to you know, lounge out and so on and so forth. So what we did is we added the, the, uh, the sportsmobile swivel seat. You can swivel this around and we'll face the back. I mean, I'd have to move that out of the way right there, but this turns around the face of the back. And then we took the benches out and left one bench in there so you could sit. All right, so we left the one bench in here. We took this bench that was out and we cleared out the other benches. So inside here, we have the winter um, dual zone fridge freezer combo there, which is great. Um, I have all kinds of, you know, I have another grill under there, some lanterns and whatnot. Uh, that's my buddy, the, the uh, my buddy heater system there. I have some crates under here with all kinds of lighting, headlamps, different lamps, mosquito repelling, different things. Anything easy to get to I have right here. I like to see the fire extinguisher. Yeah, fire extinguisher, very easy to get to. Got, you know, got for this something that does happen. Um, and to another thing, situation too, bear mace we have. Got for, you know, some, yeah. Some, Which I found out you, in New Jersey, you can't buy them on Amazon. They you won't can't, ship. They won't ship them out here, yeah, yeah. Um, we built this floor because we wanted a harder platform to stand on. And I also traveled with my dog, so he needed some area to, to you know, to, to quality. Because we wanted to leave the brackets attached. Because if I ever wanted to convert and put the benches back in, I want to be able to do that. So this is just a nice little thing here. Um, yeah, so this is the inside of the van. I have all, I have a backup camera, right, you know, it's loaded right there. Um, you have a uh, S-Pod switch system, I guess, for different accessories? Yeah, S-Pod, yeah, there's also a, um, 
and the guy put in he has a wire for the backup camera and also another another support if i ever wanted to put the uh the back lights in there the backup lights in there and i guess that trailer was heavy enough i see a brake controller up front yeah okay yeah. well he the guy the, the gentleman before me towed a little something a little heavier and uh mileage uh how many miles you have on the I, engine? I, right now there's only ninety seven thousand miles on this engine. Wow. no i bought it when i had 93. So again, it goes for a million miles is a, is a, a steal, from, as far as I'm concerned. The viewers are going to be curious about the fuel economy. Not good. Not good? <laughs> Not good. I was getting, I just got back from a trip out to Wisconsin and it took, I was getting with the, when, with the tow vehicle and, and whatnot, we got, for a full tank of gas, we got about 200 miles on a full tank of gas. And it was, it's about a 20 gallon tank, I think around, 20 gallon, 22 gallon tank around about. So mileage wasn't so good. I have the V10 and my uh Connor line and i get uh 150 to 160 miles per tank so yeah. you're getting a little bit better little plus bit you're towing a trailer yeah plus you have the trailer what so. powers the refrigerator here um right now i have a little inverter made by best tech so i just have this plugged into the cigarette lighter and then i have the, the cord because this can run off dc and ac as well so right now i have it just plugged into here so this only runs when the car is on right now um again you know, all kinds of little controls here that's where the other best tech part is I have uh, all kinds of stuff, little Bluetooth speaker, puzzles, cards, went out from different campgrounds, um, anything that we gotta keep handy. Screen tape is always clutched, little zip ties, little knife, batteries, you know, anything you need that's right at hand is gonna be pretty quick and easy to get. Weather tech mats, I got these these seat covers from Cabell, they were on clearance, they were, I think, $15 a piece, which is great to keep the seats protected. Um, yeah, all kind of stuff. I mean, a little, little thing. Here, here's more kitchen stuff here. Another drawer, all cups and. Is there, is there any type of water tank on board in here? I do not have a water tank on board in here. No, no. Any kind of water we usually usually bring with me in our coolers and fridge and and uh, whatever else we need uh, usually in the road shower. Porta potty type. I do have a porta potty. Yep. God forbid those <laughs> those accidents happen. Here's my porta potty right here. So it's the travel toilet. It's great. Basically, it's a seat with a toilet seat on top of it, and you just put a plastic bag underneath you, and you, you do your business. Hey, people need to know, people you know, need, what, yeah. what people do. Yeah. Um, most of the time, I mean, we, we have camped at different spots, so, you know, but most of the time we, where we go, we're at a campground, so a lot of times we use the bathroom at the campground and so on and so forth, shower and, and that kind of stuff. This is really for emergency situations. What, um, what inspired you to get, why did you need to get into this van life? I just felt like our country is so big, and there's so many things I have not seen. I wanted to see, and I, you know, I loved traveling growing up. I, I, you know, but every time I traveled, it was always on a plane in the hotel rooms, and and that's great and all, but it gets a little old, you know, for me. I, I want, I wanted to really experience what our country is going to be like, in, in in my my terms, you could say. And you know, for people that are interested in getting into this lifestyle for the first time. Is there any tips, like things that you did, you had aha moments, like after getting into this set, uh, that you could share with our viewers? Things that you might, in your research, that you might not have thought of that you learned as you go. I mean, every day, really, you, you learn something new. Um, the ease, ease of you know, organization, making sure everything is, is where, where you need it, when you want it, um, and just simplicity. You know, you, you don't need a ton of ton of things. You, you need. Minimal stuff to, to get you through what you're trying to do. You know, it's for your purpose. Whatever you whatever you're, you're trying to accomplish, whether it's you know mountain biking and trailing and going different, or if you just really just want to go explore nature and you just want to go to a different campground and go check out different sites or you know it, gear it toward your lifestyle, which is what which is, I, I guess my best advice I can give. Now, when you're out there and you bump into folks with larger type RVs and they come over to check out the van. Yeah. Um, do you get the sense that they they feel that you have a little bit more freedom with what you have? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Like, I was just at, again. I just got back from a trip out to Wisconsin, and one of the, the a gentleman was at next to us. He said, "This is probably one of the most rugged setups I've ever seen." And he has a huge. It was an ice house. You know, it was, it, I think it was like 27 foot ice house, which is it was awesome. But again, it's you know watching him try to trail the vehicle into the campground through some of these small roads and whatnot. It's tough. You know, some people like that glamming, you know, like what glamping or whatever what it is. But for me, I want something small that I can get to anywhere I want to get to, um, and have everything I need to, to, to with me. You know, the van I felt like was it was a great setup for me, and the trailer just adds to it. So you know, I have and I, I wanted that idea too because I want to be able to 
set up my, my campsite somewhere and be able to travel somewhere else and, and do some other, other hiking and whatever we need to do and leave the trailer uh, behind. Now that you have some experience in this lifestyle, you know, there's, there's always a work in progress. So you're always doing improvements and okay. adding things to it. If you were to do another one or make one big improvement to this particular one, what is, uh, what is like that number one thing that you're like, oh, I wish I had? Oh, man. Probably I would say the headroom. I mean, I love this van. I love this van. Don't get me wrong. But there's not much headroom, you know? But I would have to give up my accessories on top of the van, meaning the kayaks and my deck and stuff up there. So I'm, I'm torn. <laughs> I go back and forth with that. I do like those, the awesome four-wheel drive, um, four transit fans that they're doing now, and the Sprinter vans, and all these other, you know, these, the Dodge Ram. All these people are doing some cool stuff with these other vans, that, but they have the headroom, which I, which I like to be able to stand up in. That's probably my biggest, I guess, want. Now, overall investment. I know you told us approximately what the trailer cost you, but someone that just wants to buy a good uh, van, uh, whether it's four-wheel drive or diesel or gas, uh, what part of the conversion part of this it looks like it's mostly stuff that you could buy uh, over the counter what what your overall cost would someone expect um that's a great I question know, you probably did it over time so yeah i did, it, I did i've built this all everything i've acquired has been over about two two years three years i've gotten a lot of stuff off craigslist and let go and facebook marketplace and you know i've come to find like buying things brand new not too much point there's not a point to that i mean you could find really good stuff use that people don't even you know didn't really use too much especially camping equipment um so i mean so it looks like the most uh, expensive this, item would be a refrigerator yeah, this this winter fridge i think was when i bought this i bought this three years ago it has a, the dual zone um i think i paid five hundred dollars for it maybe 550. these are different magnets and whatnot we've collected from different campsites in different states we've been in we try to grab something from everywhere we go so here's the core, here's the, the size. So this is the winter fridge here. Has a little spin now. Well not from there like that. And then you have the other side is the freezer as well. It's pretty nice size. Yeah, great sizes and you know low low energy. Low we use a lot very low. So low someone energy. could do, you know, I know you bought a lot of accessories for this, so maybe a conversion like this could cost someone say three thousand? Probably. I'd probably even say probably a little less. I mean wow. this was this was a you know it's a table I had left over. I mean we built this out of plywood, we built the bed out of plywood. Um, I found a futon on let go. You know, I found these plastic drawers on let go, the three of them. Here's my camping stove I found on Craigslist. You know, here's a, a little grill situation I found. This was on clearance on a, a Dick's Sporting Goods store. Um, I mean, you just budget yourself and you, you find stuff cheap, man. You really, you really can. Everybody has uh, different career paths and uh, some people can work from out on the road. H how do you get out there? Are you able to... I am lucky. I probably have one of the best jobs, I say, for as far as I'm concerned. I am a, a health and phys ed teacher. So, it allows me time in the summertime. I have two months off in the summer, so I could travel, man. I have you know, almost 10 weeks really to, to do kind of what I want, you know? So, I mean, I obviously work hard throughout the year and save my money and, you know, so I have money in the summertime to be able to do it, but I probably, I'm very lucky to be able to, to have this career I have and, and allows me to, to do these awesome trips in the summer. Curtis, I, I, I appreciate you taking the time with us today. Our mm -hmm. viewers are going to be excited to see what you did with your van. It's really going to inspire a lot of other people that are looking to get into this lifestyle mm -hmm. with uh, what you've done with this uh, setup. And uh, I thank you. Thank you for uh, being an educator. Yeah, and uh, thank you for it. taking the time with us today. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks for being interested in my setup. Man, I love this stuff. This is a lot of fun. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it, and I'll see you soon.